What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're creating a portrait illustration of Poseidon, the Greek god of the seas. Now like all our past tutorials, we're going to start our lesson by adding some guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. We're going to start from the very top in the middle. It's going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now along the top, let's add another line going across from left to right. And we're going to use these two lines to help us create a circle along the top. So from the center point, let's step up, mark off the top of our circle. And I'm going to measure that same distance from the center down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that across the horizontal line. So taking the distance from the center over towards the left and then the right side. Now we're going to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left, coming in, coming across the bottom and then back up towards the top. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement along the top center of our page. Let's add another set of guidelines along the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left, bring that all the way down towards the bottom, and then do the same thing on the right. And we'll add another line going across the bottom of our circle. Now we're gonna use this circle and lines as a guide for the placement of the facial features. Let's start by adding a gap in between the eyes. So from the center line, let's move over toward the left, draw a straight line coming down. Let's take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now from this point, the eyes are gonna go straight out towards the side, curve this down and then back up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Go back to the inside of the eye, draw a straight angle line going up and then out. Just following the bottom edge of that circle. From the inside, curve the brow, coming in and then up, leaving a gap in between. Now from that eye line, we're going to step down, draw a straight line going across the bottom edge of the nose. And then in the center, sketch a small circle for the tip of the nose. Let's add some shape to the nose. From the bottom, angle the nostrils going up and out. Go up and then in towards the middle. Let's go back to the bottom of the nose, step down, draw a straight line going across the mouth. Now we're gonna add some volume for the beard and mustache. From the outside corner of the nose, let's bend this out and then down towards the outside line. And then right where this curve meets that nose line, angle the cheeks going up and then out, just underneath the eye line. Let's go back to the outside of the eye line, angle the ears going up and then out. Curve the ears coming down and then in towards the side. Now going up to the side of our circle, we're going to curve the hair coming down and then out towards the side. Come down and then bend that out. Let's round out the side of the beard, coming out and then in. Let's add some shape to the hairline. From the center of a circle, step down, bend this up and then out. Now along the side, draw a straight line going up, just past the top of our circle. Come down and then bend that back up. And then from here, come down and bend that in. Let's add a smaller point along the outside, bring down and up, bend this down and then in. Let's add a point in the center of the crown, coming up in the middle and then down towards the right. Now I'm gonna go back and add the inside edge of the mustache. From the center, let's step out toward the left Come down and then out, line that up on the right, bend the sides coming in towards the bottom. Let's add a little bit more shape to the beard, starting on the left, bend this in and then down and then round out the right side. Now we're going to add some guides along the side of the head for the hair. Let's start from the tip of the ear, bend this around and down and then back out. Let's go to the side of the beard, come down, out, and then back down. Now with our rough sketch in place, we're going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. 
Now in this next stage, we're gonna use this rough sketch as a guide to help us refine the shape and add some more details. Now I'm gonna start with the eyes. Let's start with the inside edge of the brow. Just gonna refine the shape. Going across, also adding a fold in between, and just coming down the side of the nose bridge. Now let's add some more shape to the eyebrow. Bending this up, curling this around the side and then down. Let's add a little bit of thickness to the eyebrows. Adding a point along the top. I'm going to add some shape to the eyes. I'm just going to move down and just refine the shape of the nose, going up across the nostrils. I'm going to round up the ends, going up and then down the side. I'm just going to add some rough textures and layers across the mustache. Just starting in the middle, just parting this in the center adding some layers going out. Also going to brush the beard out towards the side, coming down from the cheeks. And I'm just using these lines as a guide as we add some more detail later. I'm just brushing the hair across the side. You can see that by starting off with the rough sketch first, we get a better result once we start adding in the details. I'm going to swirl along the bottom of the mustache. Now with the mouth, I'm just going to block in the lower lip. And then from the lip, just add some strands coming down. Now I'm going to add some more shape to the crown. I'm just going to tuck the hair in underneath the crown. Work our way up towards the top. And I also want to add a little bit of a trident in the center of the crown in the middle. Now I'm going to go back and just clean up our drawing one final time before we add in the shading and more details. I'm going to go in and just darkening up our contours. So again, starting from the center of the head and working our way out. Also adding a soft hair texture across the top of the eyebrows. I'll darken up the bottom. So just brushing the eyebrows up and out towards that top point.
And from the eyes, we're just gonna work our way out along the side of the head and down towards the beard. So you're just gonna overlap the beard on top of the cheeks. Just gonna brush this up, adding a little bit of a point along the top. Just gonna add a little bit of texture along the inside. I'm gonna go back and just layer the ears in behind the hair, just adding a little bit of detail and folds along the inside. And we'll continue to brush the hair in behind. I'm just going to brush that beard from underneath the lip. Now let's move back up and add a little bit of detail to the crown. Just tracing out the contours. And at this stage, we can add a little bit more detail if we like. So adding some bevel along the outside. Just adding a little bit of rough texture and detail inside. Now that we've finished tracing out our contours, I'm gonna use the side edge of my pencil to add some texture and volume to the hair. Now I'm gonna start with the inside edge, starting from the very top. I'm just gonna pull this down and then out towards the side. So we just wanna essentially darken up the inside of the hair, going around the ears, also adding that shadow across the back of the ear. Pulling this down and out, and this will help frame in the face. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing across the center of the hair, so just darkening up the bottom. I'm just going to lean the shadow over towards the right side. And we're just going to position the light from the top left side of our page, going across our character. So the highlights will sit along the top left, with the shadows along the bottom right. And then this nose is going to cast a shadow across the beard, shift it over towards the right side. I'm going to lean that shadow over a little bit deeper on the right side.
I'm just gonna add a little bit more volume on the outside and just pulling this in. And I'm just gonna fade out the detail across the side of our page. Now I'm going to start adding some shadows across the face. So we're going to start by adding a shadow on top of the eyes. So this will help us protrude the brow forward by adding that dark shadow across the bottom. Go up along the side of the head and then fade that up. Now I'm just going to darken up the right side of the head. I'm just going to shift the shadow over. And we're going to add a glare across the crown. So darken up the outside and then fading that in. And then we'll darken up the inside and then fade that out to create a little bit of a highlight in the center. Now I'm gonna close out my drawing by adding a little bit more detail to the hair and some more shadows and always be sure to sign my artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Poseidon, the Greek god of the seas. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.